house that you would want to build? Mm, not really. Good. An accord? Accord? <laughs> dude, yeah. lie to me. Be like, yeah, but no, nah, lie to me, man. Be like, no, they're too heavy. Yeah. I was never into like accords and stuff like that. No one is. You're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright and welcome back to the Motor Anatomy. Today we have Leo. Leo, thank you so much for making the time for us, man. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you're nervous without telling me you're nervous. Alright, let's run that again. Three, <laughs> two... <laughs> I won't do you like that, bro. Don't trip. Let's try. Three, two, and one. Alright and welcome back to the Motor Anatomy. Today we have Leo. Leo, thank you so much for making the time for us, man. Right. Oh my god, I was worse than the first time! <laughs> nah, <laughs> we'll run with this one, we'll run with this one. Uh, so tell us man, what do you drive? It's a 92 Civic Si. 92 uh, Honda Civic Si. Beautiful, beautiful. I, like I told you off camera, I'm so glad that you're still messing with these 90s cars, man. It's so, so cool. And, and once everybody gets to hear the story about it, it's even better. But before we start into this story, tell me a little bit about yourself, man. Like, when did you remember thinking Hondas or cars in general are my hobby? I want to pursue this. I don't know, dude. It's just... Uh, it was back, back in the days, dude. Everybody had Hondas, dude. Like, it's just... I wanted a Honda and all my friends had some. So... One of my friends actually sold me his as a shell. That's how it, it all started. Oh, okay. So, so it was Hondas for you specifically. Yeah. It wasn't like muscle cars or lowriders or trucks. Or it was specifically Hondas for you. Yeah. Interesting, because over your buddies, and then once you start actually thinking about buying your own first car, what what becomes your first car? It was a I forgot the year, but it was a EG. It was a red EG. And you wanted an EG hatch for yeah. okay, just to begin with. But you mentioned you did something that most high schools i mean anybody actually not even just high schoolers you bought a shell you didn't buy the actual like no yeah i bought a shell so like did you were you always mechanically inclined or what gave you the the, the um, confidence that you could do this one of my friends helped me put on the like the engine and everything and we got it running and and he was a high schooler too or he was yeah. older no he was high <laughs> what <the heck>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay so so did you guys have auto shop at your school or no we did it in his garage so and forums, I'm assuming. I mean, we didn't really, we didn't really get into it in school. It was just out outside of the streets. Okay, dude. gotcha. And so I'm assuming you guys were reading a lot of forums, magazines, or mm, I'm just trying yeah. to grasp around it because yeah, you know, being a high schooler, then you guys just had that natural mechanical incline inclination to go and get an EG hatch. So you would you get an EG hatch? Uh, you say it was pretty much a shell. And then you start building on, you guys put a D-Series? Yeah. Okay, cool, this D-Series and put it back together? Yeah. Gotcha. And how long did you have that car for? Dude, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I've just been buying them and selling them, dude, like just putting motors here and there, and I'll just get rid of them and get another one, stuff like that. Okay, but, so you've had plenty of them after that yeah. one, okay. How do we stumble upon this specific car? This one, actually, because one of my friends had one mm -hmm. same color and um he actually passed away so i i have loved this color all the time mm -hmm. because of that, uh, his car but yeah man i mean can't go wrong with this color right 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 so your buddy had one and then rest in peace and then um you're like okay let me go pursue this color because it is a pretty gnarly co color yeah. <laughs> was this car running when you found it no, I wasn't. Of course not, because that's. <laughs> it seems like that's part of your dilemma, right? Yeah, like, no, I wasn't. Is the car running? Yeah, the car is running good. No problems. Nah, I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> Let no. me know when it's not running. Let me know when I, you take out the engine. I want it. I want it as a shell. Where did you find it? Your uh, your buddy? Yeah, one of my friends had it too, and I, he sold it to me. I put an LS motor. Oh, nice. I had it for a while, and then I sold it to one of my other okay, friends. Okay, okay. That the one that actually sold me the first car. 
Get, dude, you guys are best <laughs> friends, man. So I Bro, she got the shell. No way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I got it. I got it running. Sold it to him running, and um, 2020 came and he was gonna buy something else. He, he asked me if I wanted to buy it back. Really? And I actually did. Oh, okay, because you know. Why not? There was nothing else to do. Yeah. <laughs> so 2020, you buy it. Uh, LS still had the LS motor? No, I actually had a B20. Oh, so they switched to yeah. the B20. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I mean, the car was needed paint, and so it wasn't this perfect condition. No, no. Oh man, you don't you don't get a perfect condition car. No. Gotcha. So you you pick it up. What was the vision for it? Did you actually imagine to get to this point? No, I actually wanted to track it. Like. Um, oh. But then I just started. <laughs> switching <laughs> repairing Dude. everything and I'm like you know I was gonna go in the body shop <laughs> ain't gonna see the track anymore yeah gotcha so what ended up happening uh, so it comes with the B20 what what goes first does the pain go first do you actually you know start thinking maybe I want to do performance or just reliability what was the I thought process wanted, I just wanted to put a B16 on it dude, and just drive it like that you know mm -hmm. but I actually came I, I found a Type R swap and I just bought it. And went that route. I just went that route, dude. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye and B20, then, yeah. bye bye 16. That's it. Let's go with this. Gotcha. Okay. Send it out to get painted. Got different, a lot of stuff, dude. Like a lot of brand new stuff. Awesome. So we'll definitely get into that. And the car was OG Captiva Blue? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So they nailed it. They nailed it. I wouldn't know that, you know, this was obviously super clean, but it looks exactly like the blue um, from, from factory. Well, let's start talking about it, man. It's such a beautiful car. Uh, you said it's a 92? Yeah. 92. Wow. Looks better than some of the newer cars nowadays. Um, how long did you spray in 2021 or 2020? I think it was 2021. Oh, okay, so at least at least two years and some change. You, man, the upkeep on this is beautiful. No orange peel. Everything just reflects so nicely. Wow. Did you consider any other color? I was gonna do a yellow. I knew. I knew you were gonna say yellow. I knew you were gonna say yellow because yellow is the way. <laughs> gotcha. But then I was like, no, nah, you know what? It's the OG color, so I'm mm -hmm. just gonna keep it like that. Yeah, gotcha. And they charge more for the hinges. I'm like, nah, let's just keep it blue. I mean, I, I painted <laughs> everything inside and out, engine bay. Gotcha. And obviously, just kept the the, the front end very, very clean. Um, yeah. Which now nowadays is so hard to find that front lip. It just it's getting ridiculous. But wow, very, very clean. Was it shaking in second gear? No, it was just a boot ripped on both sides. Oh, okay. This side, the driver's side, it was the inner one. Mm -hmm. Made a mess in the freaking engine bay. The, the passenger was the outside, made a mess in the wheel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted something like something simple mm -hmm. um, for the meanwhile. Um, eventually, I want to get spoon suspension. You know? Oh my god! <laughs> of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then any other uh, suspension pieces, camber arms, rails. It has a F7 lower control arms and oh. brace. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, pretty much uh, all the bushings are new and. Okay. Um, braking system? Braking. All the, uh, what is it, the steel braking lines all around. Mm. Um, spoon calipers. Um, Man, such a clean setup. Now we have a spoon theme going on. Did you, is that what you wanted? Or yeah. you kind of just like, I've always, okay. I've always gone with spoon. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, okay. So, 
I mean, these wheels came up to for me to buy, so. Tell us about the wheels and the specs. It's, um, it's the OGs, friggin' C28s, mm -hmm. 15 by seven, plus 35s. Okay, and you were mentioning that these are some of the harder specs to find? It's some, um, I mean, it's not, they don't come by like mm -hmm. often, you know? Gotcha. Very nice, nice uh, contrast with the bronze and the blue. Yeah. And then the lug nuts, obviously. Very clean. And then you are running a spacer front, right? Because to clear yeah, the, the caliper. Yeah, just to be safe. <laughs> <the> <laughs> I don't blame you, dude. Those spoon calipers may cost more than the car nowadays, but <laughs> you know. Gotcha. And then mirrors. Spoon mirrors. Talk about something hard to find. Eh? <laughs> Everything about this car is just so hard to find. And then what did you do in the braking system in the rear? Uh, they're the original ones. Really? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. That's very clean. I know the SIs came with the disc, right? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was like maybe like Integra stuff. Okay. Gotcha. Man. And then uh, the back. This wing. Tell us about this wing. This is a first gen spoon wing. I mean, I didn't notice until like I compared to one of the other ones. Mm -hmm. It's a little different. Right? A little different. And this is, did you say that piece has been with the car for a long time, right? Yeah, that, that piece has been there for a while, dude. Gotcha. Um, we just sprayed it, like cleared it, and it still looks good, man. I, I, I completely agree with that. Now, I missed the fender right here. Oh, the fenders? Yeah, it looks OEM, but it's, it's not. A, what, what fender is this? Jay's Racing. Ah. Somehow it just molded perfectly. And then the exhaust system that you have? Um, it's just straight pipe to a <laughs> N1. <laughs> That's easy to remember. Straight pipe. Straight pipe to N1. Um, Those N1s are a little bit loud, right? I mean, yeah, if you punch it. You, know. you punch it? <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. Any major plans for the outside that you can think of? Mm, not anymore. I mean... Or so he says. Yeah, maybe... All-wheel drive? Nah, nothing, nothing <laughs> crazy like that. And start cutting it. What? No? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, dude, it's it's perfect as is. Don't mess with it. Definitely, yeah. You, you nailed it out of the park. Is there something you don't like about your car at the moment? Just the seats, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, them seats, them seats. I have a feeling you're going to fix that issue right away, though. Tell us about the interior, man. What do you have going on? Um, pretty much I did my power window conversion. Um, Ooh, okay. And then... The SIs in that generation did not come with? No, it was manual. Really? Yeah. Wow, I was today years old when I found that out. Okay, awesome. Yeah, just the audio console. GM cluster. Oh, dude, super clean. Sorry, go ahead. And... So you said the JDM cluster? Yeah. <clears throat> then I went with the uh, Bell's Works, I think it is. Hmm. The shore hub and the tilt. This is a tilt one, huh? Yeah. That's yeah, cool. I like that. Gotcha. Extremely clean interior. Did you spray the interior as well? The same time the, the outside guy sprayed? The, yeah, they, they sprayed wow. the inside. Wow, okay. Because it looks super shiny. And then tell us about your uh, shifter assembly. Um, it's a K-Tune with, with a spoon knob, that's it, man. Pretty, pretty easy, like, pretty simple. Gotcha. That's so cool, K-Tune, because it's the K-Swap, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh, uh, no. Gotcha, okay. Very, very clean interior, dude. I Any love it. Seats. That's all. Ah, I was about to ask you any future plans, and I was hoping you would say no, just drive it. But of course, <laughs> of course. Any future plans, and what do you think? I'm thinking... <laughs> I want spoon, but I don't know, man. But the the market tells you yeah. something different. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, yeah, yeah, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Carl's for now. 
<clears throat> oh, poor you. Maybe only Ricardo's. Oh. I have a feeling you're going to go with Spoon eventually. But okay, so the seats, anything major that you can think of? Mm, not really, I mean. This is great, dude. Just keep as is. This is all good. I'm assuming it's very comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. I mean, little, just little details, man. Ah, so cool, little coin. Cars came with case series, though. That's a thing. Oh, no. No? Well, yeah, they <laughs> <laughs> The newer ones, I think, did, but I don't know about this generation. Was the K-Series even invented back then? Oh, I'm sure I'm sure you're ready to just take off the mic and walk away and be like, bro, <laughs> K is not the way, shut up. <laughs> I mean, I had K, so. Oh, that's right, right. Well, in one of your 300 mini projects, you've had <laughs> K. Is K the way, by the way? No. Oh, okay. Let's, let's, no. someone's in a bad mood. Let's, no. let's not continue with that. <laughs> no, no okay, is that the way for you? Because B is a king, right? Yeah. Tell us, man, what are we looking at? It's a 97 spec type bar swap. Man, that's crazy. So obviously the original plan was to go with the B16. Yeah. And then this kind of popped up and you just kind of wanted to go a different direction. Um, I still wanted to keep like the OEM look, kind of stock look. AC? Yeah. I knew, yeah, I just need to connect mm -hmm. the... Yeah. The actual AC stuff, but... the Just the compressor and mm -hmm. um, charge it up. Yeah, but I like, I like the OEM look. I mean, this is really how it should have come from factory, if you ask me, but um, the B18 uh, pops up, uh, and, and so you, you spread it on. The motor itself, stock 100 percent. yeah it's all stock okay cool um so if it ain't broke don't fix it um and then transmission same thing yes yeah, the complete 97 spec whoa okay so very difficult to find all these stuff and then i see the hashboard mounts Good. yeah did you do anything with the subframe or anything else or no, still it's oh, all it's all stock eg okay I think this one came with no power string. Oh, okay. It's a manual one. So that's about it. And everything else, I mean, you've you just kept. Uh, is there any major plans for for the engine itself? Um, maybe just a header. Um, my valve cover needs to come in. Um, You're wearing a valve cover, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it, dude. You're happy with what what it is at the moment yeah maybe in the future the little turbo on it or oh no 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 <laughs> no no this is good because then you can't have this you have yeah. the ac you can't have you know maybe maybe you know, it's not like something i want someone send him a turbo his way right away gotcha and uh it's i'm assuming it's reliable so if it ain't broke don't fix it it just that's what it is and yeah you actually drive it quite a bit and we like that yeah okay so aside from that really nothing nothing major uh seems like you have the formula down i personally love the way it looks it looks oem and freaking rad dude just drive it and apparently k is not the way so no okay <laughs> not for me <laughs> he got mad he got mad okay let's not talk about that anymore man this is perfect love it great job dude seriously hey leo thank you so much for making the time sharing your story sharing your beautiful project with us dude um hey b is the king man and and you know it you've been around you know what's up with these cars and i'm so glad that you you're sticking with the b series i'm so glad that you're just sticking with this spoon theme and the fact that you're just messing with 90s hondas man super cool any shout outs man I mean, shout out to all the people that helped me put, like, you know, like my painter, Frankie, um, Art of Attack for giving me the deals on the parts, and um, Falcon too, man. Falcon sponsored me, and pretty much, pretty much them, like, I don't know, it's a, uh, if it wasn't for them, you know, like, this thing wouldn't look like that, dude. Right. But, well, yeah. a lot of hard work, huh? Yeah, a lot of hard work, dude. A lot of, a lot of time in there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a crazy thing, man. Like, this, uh, this build, even though you've had it for three years, um, 
you actually had the experience since you know o two o four whatever it was and and so it's been many many years in the making and you knew exactly what you wanted so great job in executing man so yeah. seriously great job and thank you for the time and can't wait to continue to see the progress in this car but i think it's honestly it's pretty much done it's such a great car and you've done an amazing job dude thanks man.